hey welcome back to my channel today i'm going to teach you guys how to build your own bench from beginning to end this idea sparked because i wanted to add seating to the edge of my bed and so i decided to share the process with you all i hope you love it and as always don't forget to like subscribe and comment after the video enjoy You'll need to start off with your foam pad and your plywood. What you'll want to do is trace out the plywood to the size of the foam and if you notice I didn't trace it exactly the size of the plywood, I left a little room so when you wrap it, it will create a cushioned edge. It makes for more comfort in the end. Now it's time to wrap the padding. The reason for this step is to help smooth the look of the bench while also adding in more cushion. I honestly just eyeballed the cut. I knew I was gonna have to staple under the bench, so I made it long and wide enough to do that. The padding is more on the thicker side, so I would recommend getting a longer staple for the stapler. I mean, I used the original staples I already had, but it would have made my life easier had I got the longer ones. As you can see, I had to staple like a bat out of hell for the majority of this project. fabric. I truly love this part in any project I do. You really get to see it all come together once the fabric is laid. I chose this leopard print because one, I'm a fanatic for animal prints, and two, I've been chasing down this specific fabric cut for years, honey. So this is long overdue in my book. So just like the padding, you're just going to staple the hell out of it until there's no more staples. Simple, right? So here you'll get to see when my OCD starts to act up. I honestly almost threw a fit, but I remembered I was on camera, so I kept it cute. The fabric was uneven, so no matter how many times I tried to lay down the sides, it just wouldn't do what I needed it to do. So I just settled with the tad bit of mediocrity. I still think about it to this day, but hey, for video's sake, let's just say I did a perfect job.
Yay, it's finally time to put on the legs. The screws that came with the legs, I actually swapped out for longer ones for durability. So if you have about a two inch screw, I would use that instead of the half inch that it typically comes with. You want to make sure the bench is sturdy. I also only use four legs, but eventually I will put two more in the middle because of the wood. It will bow over time. you have officially made your own bench. How do you feel? I hope it turned out exactly how you wanted it, with my help, of course. <laughs> now, when people come to your home and tell you how amazing it is, you can say, oh yeah, I made that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I really like to focus my energy into creating experiences for people. If you noticed, I added in small, subliminally intentional words to help you coast along in meditation. I want my videos to be as tranquil as I feel while creating them. I hope you feel relaxed as this video ends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to let me know what you all think. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed your stay. Peace and blessings.